My name is Mickey Samiari, and I'm on the product marketing team here at Boomi. Today, we'll be checking out the new Boomi API control plane. The API control plane is one of the few tools out there that can handle federated API management, supporting multiple gateways in order to manage all of your APIs in a single view. As AI usage continues to grow, APIs are only going to become more common for internal and external use. According to Gartner, by 2025, less than 50% of enterprise APIs will be managed. It's to the point where the growth of APIs are beginning to outgrow your traditional API management tools, causing API sprawl. Unmanaged APIs are what we call shadow APIs, which introduce a new type of security problem. Even unused APIs present an issue because without the right tool, you may forget about it, creating yet another security flaw. And that's essentially where the Boomi API control plane comes into play. Let's take a look. The Boomi API control plane consists of two portals, the admin portal and the developer portal. We'll start by looking at the admin portal. So on the home screen, we're going to get some high level information, like an immediate view of some of my environments and then a less detailed view of the APIs that I've discovered already. So if you want to dive a bit deeper into those APIs, we can jump over to the APIs tab. From here, we can see all the APIs deployed across all my environments. And if I wanted to filter, I can filter down by that specific environment. So let's see what we can learn about some of these APIs. I'll start with invoice. So right off the bat, we're greeted with some key details about the API itself. Most notably the security score and the quality score. The security score is based off the industry standard OWASP top 10 most critical security risks for web applications. And the quality score is based off of criteria that you define. Let's check out a few other APIs and see how they compare. We can see this one isn't too secure with a 66 out of 100. But if we check out the HTTP trigger, we can see this one has a score of 82. Let's check out one more. Let's see what sales orders got going on. So 73. So not to get too in the weeds, but by selecting details, we can actually learn a bit more about this API and what's causing the score to be what it is. It even gives suggestions on how to fix them. All right, let's continue. Next is the API products, which is our ability to package and deploy multiple APIs as one. This is going to decrease the amount of subscriptions a developer might need when wanting to test out multiple APIs, but it's under the same use case. Let's go ahead and create a new API product. We'll call it customers and partners. We'll leave it to be the default organization and we'll create a new API product. From there, I need to assign one or more APIs for this API product. I'll do customers and I'll do invoice. Another way that the control plane makes managing and governing easy is by simplifying how you can create documentation. As an example, I'll create a sample documentation for this new API product that we just created. So I'll do create new item. We'll do sample docs. Change the type to rich text. We'll add a welcome page for this product and then we'll create new item. So by leveraging templates, I actually don't have to do a whole lot of work. What I can do is browse between the various visually rich templates that we have available. We can check out a few here. This is a simple centered and we even have some more visually rich ones. I'll go with a simple one. So if I like this template, I can go ahead and click save. I can even make my own additional edits. So if I wanted to insert an image, for example, I can select the image from a web page. I can easily add that here and begin customizing my documentation. So I'll go ahead and hit save. And we'll see what this looks like from a user perspective when we jump over to the developer portal. So the governance tab is where we're going to get that single view of your APIs and gateways. 
It's a great place to gauge adoption, as we can see with this active APIs over time graph and this active subscriptions over time graph. We can get a holistic view of security across the various teams you may have contributing to the APIs in your organization, or we can get down to the individual level and compare the APIs across their security score and their quality score. We can also see the most commonly violated rules and even identify zombie and shadow APIs. Now, if we jump over to environments, I wanna showcase what it takes to actually add a new gateway or environment to the Boomi API control plane. It's a very easy process and is essentially done through agents. As you can see here, I have an agent connected to AWS and I have one for Azure. So what I wanna do first is go ahead and begin going through that process by clicking register environment. So first I'll need to choose my preferred platform. What I'm gonna do now is connect to a Boomi API gateway. And from there, it's gonna ask me for some general information. For the technical name, I'll do Boomi API gateway. And for the display name, I'll just do B O O M for Boomi. I can actually grab my specific Boomi logo color if I wanna to stick to brand guidelines. And I'll go ahead and select production and I do wanna pin this. And lastly, I just need the URL to that actual gateway. All right, now that I have all that information, we can continue. Next, we need to configure our connection to the gateway. Once I have that, I can click next. From there, I'm gonna download a YAML file. And what I'll do is drag that file into a folder that I have configured to act as my uh, Boomi gateway agent. Pop open terminal, come back to the web page and copy this command. And all we're gonna do is copy it and run it and let it go. As you can see in the back, Boomi has already showed up. If I check my Docker, I can see I now have a new Boomi entry here for a container. With that, we can close it. We'll give it a few seconds to turn on. And there we go, we are connected. So from there, all it is is about clicking Discover, making sure Discover APIs is checked. And the agent is gonna go and search for all the APIs we have deployed on this gateway. Now, this gateway has over 150, so it's going to take a little bit, but once it's done, we'll come back. So I refresh, and we can see we found 171 APIs. Cool. So yeah, that was just a quick demo of how you connect and discover your APIs with the Control Plane's gateway agents. So now let's jump over to the developer portal, and to do that, we'll head over to configuration, and then we can see developer portal here. So you're able to create any number of developer portals with the control plane. So let's check out this default one that I have here. On the first tab, we have just general information. We can give this a name, so I'll go ahead and change that. And if we go over to the customization tab, we actually have the ability to begin customizing the colors between primary, secondary, menu, text colors, and even the button text. And then ultimately we can also change the logo. So what I'll do that, I'll go ahead and add the Boomi logo now I, and do save. And if we scroll down, we kind of can get a preview of what this is going to look like for the end user. So if we jump back, we can access it by going to this link. We'll be greeted with a login screen. Once we log in, we can see the developer portal. So I am noticing the text is a little bit hard to see. We can actually go change that real quick. Let's try a gray. There we go. We can see that a lot better. So similar to the documentation and how easy it was to create, we can also freely edit our developer portal. So similarly, we can browse the templates if we'd like to change up what we have already. We can see we have those same template options here. And then again, we have the rich text editor that allows us to make very seamless uh, changes to these templates that we use. And so once you're done making edits, all it is is about toggling off edit mode. So here we can see that API product that we created earlier. If we select into it, firstly, we're able to see that the uh, home screen that we created, and then we can see that logo we added, does need a few edits here to make it look, look, look a little bit better. But for now, 
We'll leave it. And then on the APIs tab, we can see the two APIs that we have added to that product. So as a user, I do have the ability to firstly choose which one, and then I can ultimately try it out. And with that, that's going to be the end of this demo. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.